the AFC West. Another preview. This is the last division. We made it through them all. I didn't uh, organize these correctly. God bless America. Do you know how they finished? Never, never organized. Uh, yes, I do. The Kansas City Chiefs went ten and six last year. They won the division. Yes, sir. The Oakland Raiders. Nope. I'm sorry. The Los Angeles Chargers went nine and seven last year. They were number two. The Oakland Raiders were six and ten, and that's after everybody thought they'd be like twelve and four. And the Denver Broncos went five and eleven. Yeah, their quarterback did break his back. They they have had quarterback situations. Well, I mean, Derek Carr is kind of. Oh, you're talking about the Raiders. I, yeah, no, I, no, no, I, I thought you were talking, talking about the Broncos. No, they didn't break their back. No, they just they had awful been. quarterbacks. Yeah, awful quarterbacks. I think they got the quarterback of the future on the team right now. We'll get to him in a minute. <laughs> we'll get to him in a minute. Let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs to start things off. Ten and six last year. Their over-under win total this year is 8. They are minus 155 to go over that. They, Vegas expects them to go over. It's a little bit surprising to me with the uh, first-year starter Pat Mahomes. To win the division, they are plus 250. So, like I said, quarterback Pat Mahomes is the guy for Andy Reid in just his second year. They got rid of Alex Smith. They shipped him off to Washington. Pat Mahomes from Texas Tech is the dude. They got playmakers everywhere. Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Kareem Hunt, and Sammy Watkins now. And I think he'll do fine in this offense. Eric Berry is back. He's going to help Bob Sutton's uh, Ben don't break defense. Kansas City is 16 and 2 against the AFC West the last 3 years. Can Mahomes keep that up? This will be the most exciting team in this division. It, I, exciting. I don't, I don't know that that'll mean they're going to be the best. Yeah, it, they exciting are exciting as in like uh, like not, it could be one or the other. Not but what well, they could even they won't be, be boring. A, they could be a middle of the road team. They're yeah. not going to be boring. I will, right. I will make sure that I am watch. I have the TV on their game almost every week. Yeah, I, I think I agree. I think I agree. Uh, I've got them 9-7. I, I got them 10-6. and six. Whew, Going same as last year. I got them 10-6. and six. I think this division is going to be good. This yeah, I, is think, probably, yeah, I think it's going to be a good division. This is probably going to be the best division in football if, if, it, if, if what I you'll, think is real. Is you'll what see what, what I've got. Okay. In this, it's it, going through the schedules. It blew my mind, and I went through it a couple of different times. All right, and I was just a little bit floored. Uh, I mean, they got some tough games to start out with. They play at the Chargers and at Pittsburgh to start, and then San Francisco comes in, and then they play at Denver, and then Jacksonville, and then at New England. Now, they, yeah, like, they got a first place schedule. That's they're gonna play, and the division's tough. So let me tell you what I am terrified of in this division. I, I it, fantasy football wise. I don't want a single quarterback from this division. If Khalil Mack plays, they have the four best pass rushing teams in the country. Yeah, I think you might be right about that. I think you might be right. I don't want to play a quarterback in this division. Every week you're getting smashed. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So you got them 10 and 6. I got them 9 and 7. Let's move on to the Los Angeles Chargers. Last year, 9 and 7. They uh, they closed strong. At the end of the year, their over under this year is nine, and they are minus one sixty five. They are expected to go over the nine to win the division. They are plus one fifty. That is, uh, is that not the same as? Uh, oh no, th- sorry, the Chiefs are plus two fifty. The Chargers are the favorite to win the division at plus yep. one fifty. But everybody is is pretty close here. Um, they added center Mike Pouncey. Uh, they add uh, defensive tackle uh, Brandon. I can't even read my own writing. Uh, me, me bone, me, whoever from the Seahawks. Yeah, they got. Yeah, how did I not know that? I, either way, uh, they couldn't stop the run in 2017. They drafted Derwin James to uh, to bolster the secondary. Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram are awesome. Joey Bosa might be the defensive MVP this year. He might be. Melvin Ingram ain't nothing to sniff at either. No, no, you're right. That that, that is the best one-two pass rush combination in all of football. Uh, kicking cost them several games last year, uh, but they, they but can't be worse this listen, year than they were last that's year. That's not a new thing for no, the Chargers, it's not. by the way. it's really not. Uh, I really like this team this year. They, they've they got a pretty difficult schedule. Uh, they open with Kansas City at home, then they play at Buffalo, at the Rams, San Francisco, Oakland, at Cleveland, then the Titans before their bye week. And, I mean, it's just like they've got at Pittsburgh in here, at Kansas City, of course, at Oakland, at Seattle – you know, it's there's some tough stuff in here. 
No, I NFL's like them. no joke. No, no, it's it's definitely no joke. It's I love the AFC West and the NFC West playing each other right now. It's it, like it made this easier for us to do. Um, I got them nine and seven. I like them a little more than you. Do you like them the same as the Chiefs at ten and six, or you like them a little more than that? I got them twelve and four. Good, jeez, God Almighty! I think they're going to be. The, I think they're going to be the best <laughs> team in the AFC. It, what? Hey, you. Didn't you have New England at 13-3? and three? I might have. So, they're the second best team in the NFC. <laughs> when we get to our playoff section. Say what? <laughs> they'll be number two. Man, I just, I don't know about that. I, wait, okay. I like That's this fine. team a lot. I, think I Melvin like the Gore, Chargers. I've seen I think, I think, I think them lose. I think Phillip many... Rivers is the best quarterback in this division. I don't think it's close. I think uh, Kadeem Allen is the, the best wide receiver in this division, and I don't think it's close. I think Mike Williams is one of the best young talents in this division, and I don't think it's close. I think their defensive pass rush is the best in this division, and I don't think it is close. I think their coordinators are two of the best play-calling offensive coordinators and defensive coordinators in the country. I love this team. I think they are on the verge of being great. Now if they could just get more than, like, 15,000 people at their ball games. I don't know that that matters, man. I don't, I don't think it does either. It, it I really think they doesn't have matter gotten, in the NFL. I right? think they – no, I think it matters in the NFL. I think this team has gotten used to playing in front of nobody. Yeah, you're probably right. And I think it doesn't I, scare that them. Actually, it does not scare them You remember all. when the, uh, the Titans, and, and I guess they were still technically the Oilers at the time, when they came to Memphis yep. and they were playing in front of nobody, and then two years later they were in the Super Bowl? Correct. It's – might be kind of the same situation. Yeah. I, right? I, th I think this team is really, really good. I think they've done a good job of building it. The things that have killed them in the past is offensive line going down with ACL, knee injuries every year, getting yeah. destroyed. Big-time receivers going down with lacerated kidneys or whatever, <laughs> taking you out for the season. And field goal kickers just needing to be taken out to the ocean when and it's, shot. It's what you – I don't want to say it's what you get, but it's kind of what you get for bringing in like a YouTube kicker, right? And I, here but we are, not, you know, doing a YouTube no, thing. But it's not. But it's like, not. It's not just that though. It's not just that. No, guy. It's, it wasn't just you're, that guy. You're it's talking always about been the last like decade of field goal kicking in San Diego. Now into LA, they cannot it's, shake that bugaboo. It's why I don't. It's it's why I didn't want to go too crazy with it. Nine and seven, I thought was okay. Because I've seen them lose to teams that they should beat. I've seen them beat teams that they should lose to. And it's always just a middle, like, 7 and 9, 8 and 8, 9 and 7, maybe 10 and 6, or maybe 6 and 10. It's, like, all over the place, right? I think this it's is... It's always really close. This team this year, if you look at what the AFC has been in the past, this is normal years, the Steelers, to me. Okay. I think they're going to take that place as we are going to be hard, we're going to be tough, we're not going to go easy, and and if you want to beat us, you better show up with all you've got. And if you don't, we're going to win. And when we lose, it's going to be by the narrowest of margins. Let's move on to the Raiders. A team I don't think is this good. I don't either. 6-10 in 2017, Derek Carr, like you said, broke his back, broke everything. Uh, he was out for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, over under this year is eight, but they are plus one ten. So Vegas thinks that they will go under the eight to win the division. Though they are plus two thirty, they are second. They've got the second best odds or second worst odds. They're, you they're getting it. a lot of love from Vegas because they're going to go to Vegas. Probably, I think they're getting a lot uh, of local love. Or it could be because of the Chucky effect. That's John ridiculous. Gruden is officially back. The offense sounds great, but look. New wide receiver Jordy Nelson, he looked old. He looked done last year. Uh, Amari Cooper struggles against press coverage. Martavis Bryant is inconsistent. Marshawn Lynch is only good if you limit his touches. And Derek Carr is inconsistent. Like, Khalil Mack and Bruce Irvin are awesome, but the rest of the front seven is extremely questionable. They got a couple of guys that are great, but the roster is blah. I don't think Khalil Mack is going to play at all this year. Yeah, that contract talk is is strange if you, you and i actually texted a little bit about that didn't if we? you pay yeah. your head coach a hundred million dollars you better have some money left over to pay the best player on your team 
I agree with that. That is complete horse crap. And if I was Khalil Mack, I wouldn't pay for him either. But here's the problem. We're stuck in this no man's land to where in order for them to trade them, there are plenty of teams with cap room that would take him and sign him, but they're not going to want to give up a one or a two or a couple of twos to get him. So they got to pay on both ends. They got to yeah. pay in money and in draft picks. And and he's just stuck in this situation where he can't leave. He can't do anything else. But I don't know that I would play for an organization that you think the head coach is that much more valuable than the talent on the field. And we're not talking about some, you know, second string guard or whatever. We're talking about the best player on the roster. Yeah. Yeah. I, I One agree. of the best pass rushers in the country, if not the best. I got him going 5 and 11. God. I got him four and twelve. We're right there. At yeah, the we're, same thing. we I we just, both feel the and, same. But, and I don't think just so John everybody Gruden knows, is a good football coach. Just so, I might be proven wrong. And on that. He might be I good. I but he, don't think he's going to be good. He hadn't been in the game and for like I understand he did Monday Night Football. I got that, right? But and he like, loved everybody. But he, he never had a, been he never coaching. had a critical thing to say about anybody. So is he going to come in and all of a sudden be a hard nosed tough coach, or is he going to be everybody's friend? Because that's what he was on that stupid TV show that he had. Yeah. I mean, it, look, the I money mean, they offered him, like, I, I would have come back, too. We're doing a stupid TV show that's on YouTube. <laughs> but but we also aren't making, like, $20 hey, million dollars from ESPN. No, we ain't making $20 million nothing. We ain't making $20 million pennies. No. Like, nothing. We just do this for fun. That's right. And if Gruden just wanted to do this for fun, he could be coaching youth football. But he, would, he wouldn't be getting criticized. But no, he wouldn't. You, you got you to gotta take a stand, and at some point in time, you got to hold somebody accountable. And I'm not saying he's not doing that, but I don't know if he's doing that or not. And a hundred million dollars, ten years, that could cripple that franchise. No, you're you're right. You're right. Uh Denver Broncos, final team in the AFC West. They were five and eleven in two thousand seventeen. They're over under this year is seven. That is minus one fifty. Vegas expects them to go over the seven. To win the division, they are plus two seventy. They got the worst odds in the division to win the division, and it's still only plus two seventy. That's not too shabby. Quarterback Case Keenum was awesome in Minnesota last year, but he hasn't always been awesome. Uh, Von Miller is still amazing, and they drafted Bradley Chubb to help an already really strong defensive line. Uh, they drafted running back Royce Freeman in the third round, but the offensive line is kind of poor, so I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, other than Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders, the wide receiver core is questionable. Cornerback Chris Harris and Bradley Roby, probably the league's best duo. I would I would think that. Like, I'd... I wrote it on my paper. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, sure. Uh, uh, like no, looking no, back on, at their do, stats, like, they do have a rookie named Cortland Sutton who's a, who's going to be a stud at receiver. Yeah, he's probably going to take a lot of plays when they go two man sets away from Demarius. Yeah, probably so. Uh, I don't know that I believe in Vance Joseph that much. He went from a like the Dolph or Dolphins, the Broncos went from like a known commodity to uh, like they had John Fox and Gary Kubiak, like. You know what those guys are. Like, those are respected head coaches. And then you go to, like, completely unknown in Vance Joseph. And this is not, like, a criticism because they, they hired a black guy, right? Like, that's what everybody, the left-wing media, blah, 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 that we always, whatever, uh, they will jump on that as being critical. But the the issue is this guy had not been a head coach. And it kind of showed at different times last year. Well, I don't know that this roster is put together very good either. I don't know that John Elway's great at his job, which is sad because that's he's kind one of where the I'm greatest, getting at. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But we, he brought him a Super Bowl. He hey, he went and got, he went Peyton, and got Manning. Peyton Manning. That I doesn't mean that you're good at but evaluating he, talent. But or he also the team. he also had John Fox. He brought him in, and he also brought in Gary Kubiak. He's smart about those, and you feel like, it, and and I don't necessarily believe in Vance Joseph right now. But I can talk myself into it. I can talk myself into it because I like this team. They're getting up there a little bit, but they, they've brought in some younger pieces. I'm not a Broncos fan, but I like the schedule a little bit. I like Case Keenum, but I, I think that – I think Machine Gun Kelly's probably going to take that job. He yeah, looks he the is. part. Yeah, he uh, he's going to add a little swagger to this team. Look, I got him 9-7 and seven this year, man. Got him ten and six. I got him making a playoff spot. That's I, listen I, to I that. Like, you got two ten and six yep. teams and a twelve and four. I got yep. three nine and seven teams. Yep. I got Holy I got him. God. I got him. I got him ten and six. I like this team a lot. I don't think the offensive line is great. I think they're going to be good enough. Um, Royce Freeman looks good. 
He looks like he can play. He's not afraid to get in the line, plow through the line. Um, I think at some point in time, the, regardless of what you think of Vance Joseph, at some point in time, somebody on the coaching staff is going to say, the best guy sitting on the sidelines, and we need to get him in the game. Yeah, we need to get him in the game. I know we paid for Case Keenum, but – when you get him in the game, like if, if so, we're so going to play, I, I if we're going to play a short white quarterback, the, the, then the, the older we need to play the, the better guy. <laughs> the older I have gotten, and the more I watch football, I don't think contracts matter in football nearly as much as they do in basketball or baseball. It's a meritocracy. I the think, best player plays. I, period. I, I think when you're in the huddle and you need it's fourth and three, and you got to get a first down, or it's the ball game. They're not saying, well, who did we give $30 million to? Let's put it in that guy's hands. They're putting it in the hands of the people that they think can get them the play. I think Chad Kelly's the best quarterback on the roster. I think he is, too. I think he's really good, too. I don't think – I'm not just saying that because the roster's bad. I think he would – I don't know that Derek Carr is better than him. I don't know that Patrick Mahomes is better than him. You might be right. If he got a chance, if he got the opportunity to play 16 games – I would sure as heck like to see it. I I think I would too. So I think he brings something different to that team that they need. He is fearless, uh, he, and I he's think got they, a confidence. I think they need that. Oh, I yeah. think they need because they have played at the quarterback position in Denver for the last few years since Peyton's great year, and all of a sudden Peyton fell off a cliff. They have played timid and soft and safe at the quarterback position. Well, just on the offense in general. And they've tried so hard to just win it with defense, and I think it's killed the defense. Uh, you're probably right. You're and, probably right. And I think they need somebody out there that'll sling it. I got the Chiefs winning the division at 9-7. and seven. I got the Chargers, and I got the Denvers and the Chiefs both 6-6. Six and six. I, had to, I had to go through that whole schedule and figure out the tiebreakers. How crazy is that? Nah. We'll get to our NFL uh, playoff picks here momentarily with that is the AFC West. And the last of the previews. You made it through all of them. Yeah, we did.